just when you thought you can groove with it, I cut it off. Damn Welcome boy. once again to episode 29 of the Freaks of Industry. Let me allow me to uh, apologize for this is a week gap in podcast. Last week we recorded it and we had technical difficulties and did not know it till I got home to upload it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to rewind, reset, and do this thing all over again. One more again. One time for the one time. Today's episode is brought to you by Emanuel Chiropractic Clinic. Uh, Dr. Emanuel is in, in Kansas City, Missouri, 6301 Rock Hill Road, Suite 105. Um, give him a call. He does, if you have an auto injury, uh, neck and back pain, sports injury, talk to Dr. Emanuel. He'll, he'll get good. you together. He, 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 just put your back in his hands and mm. hit the rest. <laughs> it's, it's worth it's worth the trip. It's worth it. And, and my wife is living proof. It she, is worth the trip. She, she got a... A, a back crack. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In a sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and the same. Mm-hmm. So to contact, the, do- mm-hmm. to contact the doc, please call 816-523-4023. The number again is 816-523-4023. And that's Emanuel Chiropractic Clinic. In Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, now back to the show. Hello. So tonight on on tonight's dais we have Texas Homegrown. Bam, bam, bam. Next to Texas we got Apple Bottom Banks. Hello, hello, hello. Across from Apple Bottom we got my lovely wife, Boss Lady Brooks. Hello, hello, hello. And then me, myself, hello. and I. Y'all know who I am. I'm the one, the hey, hostess hello, with the mostest. Hello. The biggest dick around this motherfucker. This dick is bigger than mine. Yes, of course. <laughs> than mine. I keep mine well, in a box. Well, mine's go in the book. <laughs> so, so, let's start. It with. might be beating yours, though, Mom. So I'm just saying. So, let's take it from the top. Texas homegrown. What's up, baby? Hey. Let's try this one more time. Put the little red. This is, Man, this this is, when I thought I was free. This I'm is spotlight number cheeks. two. This is number two or four. Next week, we're going to do uh, we're gonna do Apple Bottom Banks. And yeah. after that, Boss Baby Brooks. Lord. All right. right. So now, yes. tell us a little something about yourself. Let me, let's go with um, hmm, where are you from? I am from <laughs> San Antonio, Texas, the two one zero. So you always see me throwing this up two one zero, San Antonio, Texas, and I live in St. Louis right now. Mm-hmm. Texas homegrown. Okay. Now, what brought you to St. Louis? I was tricked. Mm. Bamboozled. Bamboozled. Let it stray. Somebody, <laughs> some, somebody, tricked her, somebody tricked her to get her. Yeah. No, Same my ex husband. I was married. Mm. My ex husband brought So me. it was the dick. In a, in a, in a I mean, that, that solidified in a it, right? I kind of got right. kidnapped. It's like, oh, damn. On. I want you. Uh, and come on. You're going with me. Oh, so and I said, uh, uh, okay. Mm. And okay, I left. Oh. Oh. Do you have any children? I have a daughter. You have grandkids. I have three grandchildren. Wonderful. Nice. One. You, yes. a, you a Gigi. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a granny. All right. I'm, All right. I'm a live granny. Yeah. All six, right. six years <laughs> granny. You, you a gilf. I'm a gilf. Right. You, you a gilf. I'm a gilf. You a right. gilf. Crazy. Like, right. we are grandmothers. Yes. This is what grandmas look like this is now. This what grandmas look like. Right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 I got one, one granny. I'm still. I got the one granny. crack. You a granny? Yes, I, I'm a granny. Okay. Got some fine ass grandma. I oh, appreciate yeah. that. Granny, pa- granny, granny panties don't look the same no more. Y'all got uh, well, I ain't no motherfucker wearing no granny panties no, over I, here. I'm I, sorry. I, I, I don't, don't even know what the fuck with. those look like. They look mm-hmm. if I put some on. That mm. part. That being the reason. Damn. That part. Wow. Okay. I, I'm not, too much jumbulation going on down I'm there. We trying to put on all that shit. You hear me? Cutting it to your skin and shit. By the time you finish anyway, that G strand. That's right. So that, well. that, that, that part mm. might as well not wear none. Might so well. uncomfortable. Yeah, one or two. All right. Or the three. Now Texas homegrown. Do mm-hmm. you do you have any siblings? I have. You know, I, I said three. I actually have two sisters. Okay. Biological from my mother. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I have a stepsister and stepbrother. Okay. But I have two sisters. And I kept saying, where did I find the other sister at? <laughs> <laughs> I adopted somebody right. along the way. <laughs> but no, I have two. I'm the middle. Okay. I have an oldest and I have a younger. All right. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So. I got a question. Mm-hmm. What is it always about? You know, they always say that the the middle child has this kind of like thing or whatever. Is that true what they say about the middle child always got something going on with them? Yes. Like they feel like they either left out or they be rebellious or they be hella wild. Like all kind. Well, is that true? really wild, but definitely because you're the middle. So you're not the oldest and you're not the youngest. So the oldest gets to do a lot of stuff that the middle can't do, or I always have to be 
the chaperone for the oldest, and then the youngest, she's the baby. So you got right. the babysitter. Always gonna still cater to the baby. Right. Uh, so, you like right here in the middle, just like I want love too. Right. Me too. So yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I ain't never had them syndromes. Kudos to you, though. <laughs> but I made it through, though. Girl, I, I can use myself. I did it all the way wrong. Because yeah. that's my youngest right. got the issues. My middle son be on it. Yeah, no. I, don't, I didn't really have the issues either. I was just oh, yeah. I just learned how to be by myself. Mm. I play well by myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even now. Really? Mm-hmm. So do I. You play yourself by yourself. Mm-hmm. Really? That's what I was just saying. Mm-hmm. That's what I got into. I'm like, really? Look, you got me playing with my little imaginary beard over here. What mustache? Because I have a Because really? oh. I have a Because I have a rope. Yeah. If y'all can see her face I'm and these rosy yeah, cheeks, yeah, yeah, she, she is oh. over here <laughs> flustered, y'all. Like, so y'all flustered. have no idea how red her little cheeks is. Like and it's just off. making it even worse. <laughs> you know, I'm, oh, I told you, I'm a shy person. I can't, I'm oh, really, wow. really I can't stop looking at her nails. Oh, those are some nice nails, but Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, you that's I, the first time I've seen something that I actually like. Because oh, some yeah. people have them too freaking long. They just be looking crazy. Those are, they need. You know what? This is my happy place. So when I'm feeling some type of way, mm. or because like I said, I'm always I'm always by myself. I could look down here and I'd be like, oh, that's I just love her damn Happy boy. This this, this this down here and around there, like her. It's the accent for me. I'm, I'm, I'm talking. I hope you never lose that motherfucker. Cause you know you be in one place for too long, you start to lose no, that I shit. I don't think I ever but will. I know you're not from here. Yeah, or from her. So no. you are. Every now and then, Every now and then it yeah, come in, yeah. But, but we'll talk about you next week. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. yeah. Or, or technically in about an hour. But yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, technically. I technically. I say, Lord bless my granny, but she ain't never looked like that. Right, right, oh. right. <laughs> right. Baby, right, 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 right. Are we either doing it right, real right, right, right or real wrong? Right. Right. <laughs> smell like all good. Fat old asses. like being gay. Right. Mm-hmm. None of that. None of that shit. Mm-hmm. I ain't out here searching for a walker. Right. Sometimes I'll be having 38 then, minutes left in one knee, but I still be getting yeah, in. Then, I, I had to tell him today, I ain't getting on this floor. I got to be Look. sexually motivated to get on this floor. Yeah. He wanted to pull up the little tape yeah, off we, the floor. Yeah, we doing some home improvement, so I'm pulling stuff up on the I'll carpet. And I told her, I told her, look, let me put the, she's like, one more, I don't want to get on the ground. I got to be sexually motivated to get down there. <laughs> I said, well, I put my dick out, you can suck my dick while you pull this shit up. <laughs> I was like, hey, <laughs> Don't threaten me with a motherfucking good time. She <laughs> said, "Go ahead, shit. As long as I gotta get on this flow, right. fuck this flow, I, fuck this flow." And I love like it, so shit, it's whatever. It would have been me and me. Me too. <laughs> <God> damn it. <laughs> so, you know, uh, so also, uh, your occupation. Occupy. Now, what, what, what are some of the things you've done? Well, I know. You did some industry stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. So ex- explain to the people about that. Um, well, I started off as an exotic dancer. Mm. And then I turned that into me going on tour with a couple of people. Mm-hmm. And then I turned that into my entertainment company. Mm-hmm. So then I started managing other dancers and putting them on the road and putting them on shows and doing this. God damn, I need the footage, though, y'all. Go oh, and I left the book. I you left, and I, you book. know what? And I told yeah. Mario that. He was like, yeah, call and make sure. Yeah, I said, okay. And it slipped my mind. I was the house. I meant to bring the book. And I meant to call you to yes. remind you. Yes. But. So, yeah, I... Um, I did. I did that. So okay. yeah. So it just yeah, led yeah. to so my entertainment company. Um, Is it still current, up and going? Your mm-hmm. entertainment? Well, during COVID, you know, you had to shut everything down because right, right. it really wasn't. But I'm thinking that um, I'm going to relaunch it maybe for my birthday nice. and do a show here. And when is your birthday? August 19th. All right, and you are a Leo. Leo. Okay. All right, Leo. Mm. Amazing. I like August Leo. Uh, you know what? Like, now, I've been sitting across from this thick motherfucker mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. how long now? A minute. A, enough. A minute a to minute. know. Look, turn, yeah, turn a around. Mi- Look at this <laughs> motherfucking camera. You know, <laughs> just, hey, how you do it? <laughs> Is it that? 2 one up. 2 one up. Uh-huh. Apple, you look yeah. like you got all But anyway, do uh, I do. I look <laughs> like, girl, look, you look incredible. Cr- anyway, I've been sitting across from this thick motherfucker for I don't know how long mm-hmm. and didn't know all this ass was being wrapped around the motherfucker pole. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you missed that. She said it though. Why you? Are you fucking? Si- I didn't pay no attention to that shit. I, I did. Clearly, I was drinking a little bit too much motherfucking liquor. <laughs> yeah, I was exactly that. Uh, uh, yeah, girl. <laughs> so, so you, so you, you taking this shit on the road? I took it on the road. Uh huh. I just need to go with you on one of the road trips. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I'm gonna get it back cracking. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. see. Mm-hmm. 
family. I ain't this We're a bitch. family. Yeah, we gonna get back together. Okay. Together. I love yes. it. I fucking yes. love it. Let's yes. take a party bus. <laughs> Call it a day, shit. And she's made, lot, she's made a lot of stars. She, please share with us some many, the many stars you've seen mm-hmm. besides the sun and the moon. Um, One that's sitting right on my shoulder right now. Tupac. A couple of more. Yeah, two pops. Really? A friend of mine. Mm-hmm. Um, a couple of them. DMX, rest, rest in peace. Yep, um, yep. Heavy D, rest in peace. Um, Dr. Dre, Ice Cube. Um, that's just the name of fucking that's just, few. Just a few. What about, what about, Girl, you, about T.I. and Young Jeezy? Um, yeah, both of them. Yeah. Girl, I'm your motherfucking friend to the N.I.D. <laughs> ho. Ha ha, and this is not a joke. <laughs> Yeah, Girl, like I said I have a book that I took that I made into because I always said that when I was working back then, I was like, well, you know, and I'm glad I did it because I wanted to show my grandchildren. I'm like, I'm gonna take pictures just so I can show my grandchildren. And luckily, I did because a lot of artists now are gone. Are gone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I have right. Roger Troutman from Zap. Okay. That was really, the, really the inventor that was of the, the shit. Of the real auto tune. And you know, the, right. the, the only one I really the regret birth. is that I met Prince. In, in his club in Minneapolis, but I was so star tr- starstruck that I didn't take a picture. I could be right. Honest. I was so star. I mean, yeah, but Girl, we everybody to me loves some motherfucker. I don't yeah. give a fuck. Men and women love motherfucking Prince. That man will always be loved in so many fucking men and, and women's some. lives. I swear. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I yeah. promise you. He had these two women with him, and I tell you, so he walked up to me, and at the time I had finger waves in my hair. And you know, that was his thing. That's his thing, yeah. yes. So I'm walking through there, and literally I see him like walking Approaching up, and I'm you. like, oh my God. And But I'm looking at the girls that's on side of him. These are some of the prettiest women I've ever seen in my life. I'm like, did you make these women? Like, that's right. where you come from. Rich. Beautiful. I mean, just so beautiful. And he walked to me, and I, that's, I asked him, I said, did you make these women? <laughs> these women are like beautiful. And he the and first thing he said was, you even more beautiful. Wow. Right. I was like, for real? Yeah, because you probably had more ass. But um, yeah, yeah. I, know, I know the women you're talking about, and they kind of look like twins, but they're not yeah, twins. Yeah, they look beautiful. But I know who you're talking about. Yeah, but he just he just said, you know, look. Check out the cream video. Like he, said, like he used to that. Like, yeah, right. they good. They whatever. But you are beautiful. Too. Mm. And I, from that day on, you couldn't tell me I wasn't beautiful. I don't right. care if I was a muck duck uh Monkey. Shit, shit, Prince Tony, and, was, yeah. and that, that's still the deal. That's God the one I regret that I never got a picture with. Mm-hmm. Wow, I would have got shirts made or something. I <laughs> like her just a lot a bit more. <laughs> just, I already liked you, yeah. you know. We we, we had to, you know, brush up. Way, yeah. yeah, that's what these origin stories are about. Mm-hmm. Though, but like, oh my people. god, With these people that are you, yeah, you know, bring the book. I'm, your, pro- I'm gonna set it out. Oh shit, I ain't going nowhere. Where I gotta be? Yeah. Set it out. And I love DMX and Tupac's are two yes. of my favorite fucking yes, rappers. I absolutely adore Tupac and I always wanted to meet him. Amazing. Always wanted Amazing. to meet him. I never met him, but I went to a concert they had here at Claire Mercedes Amazing. years ago. And somebody fucked around through a battery at Tupac. He went ballistic and cut the concert short. Yeah. Oh Lord. But he's so smart. He's very he's intelligent. Very, intelligent man. very, yeah. very intelligent. I can the we the the reason why I say I'm saying from my own perspective that I believe that he is very, very intelligent because of some of the lyrics that he had. So so much so to his backstory, him bringing out his own little documentary. It it just enlightened you on who he was as a person. Mm-hmm. And he just like was anybody else. We all got some fucked up histories, For fucked sure. up ways. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But he spoke his truth through his music. Right. That's kind of how, like... I guess why I was so fortunate to be around because I treat everybody like, I feel like I'm a star too. Right. So, mm. like when I met Jay-Z, I met him behind a club and they walked up to me, but this was like the young Jay-Z. And right. And I, you know, I have the picture of me and him with the night we met. Right. And, but, you know, he was like, come on, let's take a picture. You know what I mean? So, they, a lot of times they asked me to take a picture. I didn't even right. ask to take the picture. Because when you don't feel like, like, you know, be like, oh my God, oh my, mm-hmm. to me, I'm it's like, you a regular person, you just make more money That's than me. So but at some that. point, you do run into one person who you are so like hammered by. Yes, to where you lose that little sense of confidence that you always have because you just like, oh my god, you're talking to me right Dr. now. Cool, right yeah. out oh my god, god. I promise but that was you. Like Roger Troutman <laughs> for me and Prince. Yeah, because Roger Troutman used to love Roger Troutman. Mm-hmm. So when I met him, that was like, and then we met him, and then Pac did a show with him. So that's how I met him. Right. So we ended up getting to stay for both shows. Oh, that was yeah, cool. So he ended up, yeah, he invited us. That we, was we cool. We paid for the first one, and then 
Pac then performed or whatever, and he was like, and then I, he introduced me to Roger, and then he was like, Roger's like, y'all, my guest, so he put us at the front table, his nice. table. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. That yeah, that's dope. like yeah. something. You, you can't got pay some for that. Imagine. I got Ooh, some memories. You got some when memories. I memories. I have some memories. Cube. I mean, I got memories. And Anaconda. Cube, that's my boy. Yeah, oh, my God. Set. I love to Ice Cube. When they were shooting. You and you, a, really? I was supposed to done the Players Club. Yeah. We helped. He, 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 he interviewed. A bunch of dancers. Some oh, yeah. of my friends that are dancing. A couple of girls that were my friends, they actually in the movie. Mm. So I actually got the script before anybody got it. He mm-hmm. sent it. My mom still has it. And I was supposed to read for um, Diamond. And then when I got time, it was for me to read. I just, everything inside of me. So it. you were supposed to be in Diamond. I was supposed to read for it. Mm-hmm. Get the fuck out of that here. That would have been a whole nother movie. That would have been a whole nother motherfucking movie. It happened right. the way it's supposed to happen. I don't You know what? It. That's and that's that's yeah, the good way of looking it. at it. That's yeah. a good way of looking at it. Because mm-hmm. see, you came out with friendship at the end. Oh yeah. And that's so what matters most. Top. So you mm-hmm. came out on top. Yeah, that's my mom still got that script too. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. We gonna sit the book. I'm, I'm, I think I'm falling in love. <laughs> so when we leave so her, we this nobody would week? ever know if I didn't book. tell you. I don't even talk about it. <laughs> I want the book. Mm-hmm. April want still wants this book. No, I'm, I promise you, I'm setting the book out. And a plate. And and I'm, well, I'm my re- mom got to play. I'm gonna remind you. I'll call her and tell her. We can call her right <laughs> now. But she I'm might be nice. like, "That is never leaving me." Yes, ma'am. <laughs> right. Yes, ma'am. She didn't want to send my book because she had it for the longest. Oh my god. She had it put up, and I was like, "Ma, I got a safe now. <laughs> I can put right, it in there." And right. she's like. Well, how it's going to get there? <laughs> like, I ain't sending it. Yeah, I'm Look. not sending it. I'm like, <laughs> they're not going to lose it. You're going to have to, yeah. to ride ahead. down there and get that. Hold it in her lap. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I was like, well, I get it. So I went home, I got it, and brought it back. Like, Aww. Know, Fort Knox. Texas Homegrown. Yes. A.K.A. Madam Laurie. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> how did you come about being invited to the show? Do you, do you remember? <laughs> yes, Mr. Mo was on my life. Mm-hmm. With me and my homegirl Cashmere, yeah. he came on there and was talking about some of his, his um, shenanigans, sexual, <laughs> my adult hedonistic behavior. His, yeah, his adult hedonistic, his hedonistic behavior. behavior. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, then he, he asked me to come on to the show, or whatever. Right. Invited me on and me I, and and Cash. Yeah, right? I, invite, I want y'all to come on the show for about uh, we were talking about uh, entertainers. Yeah, exotic yeah, dancers. Exotic dancers. Right. And she couldn't come, but you did, and mm-hmm. the rest is history. And the rest is history, and I've been here ever since. Yeah. Thank you. All right. And what is, what is, um, what is your biggest sexual fantasy? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, my brother even, even my around. brother even leaked in like I want to know too. <laughs> you know, like I said, I I think they off in there. I'm still working them out. No, nah, that I'm wasn't still, no answer. Really, that I'm was still. not a fucking answer, <laughs> Madam Laurie. Uh uh-uh, uh uh-uh. Madam really Laurie. Now I just fell in love with your ass today, and I was talking about I want you to be my next girlfriend and all this shit. Hold on, hold on, hold and on, she gonna not on. answer the question. Not only did she answer this question already, you forgot what you. You forgot yeah, what you I was said. Yeah, I wasn't going to say it again. No, you're going to have to say that shit. Because you I were so here. confident when you answered it, though. I wasn't here. I need to hear that. What did I say? No, no, you got to say that. I don't remember it's what gotta I said. It's got to come out of your mouth. Uh, I, I oh, can't say it. I don't know. Or in your but, mouth. You know, you put it? Mm, I'm a, it's, I just, you know, it's, 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 some, it's some things that, that you would like to I try. just like... Yeah. We done opened the book on you for a lot of other things. We done already got you halfway out the box and you didn't try to go back in it. No, it's like, um, <laughs> you know what's funny though? Because I always say I never want to do it. I just want to see somebody have like anal sex. I just want to see how it happens. We can do that. <laughs> <laughs> come over. Like in person. Come over well, tomorrow I mean, I have to work about my way 930. To it. <laughs> in my spirit, and, I feel like that's what I want to do. Come back to our bedroom. You can watch me just shove. What, all this dick <laughs> See, in, her, right. in her keister. See, that's fucked up. I just want to look through the window. I don't want y'all no, to see the window. We can go we right, go right here. there. After oh. the second show, we can go, me and him, and, go, and you just look through Oh, okay. Like okay. the zoo. Okay. It, it's not, in my head, <laughs> that's what I think. It's like dating. <laughs> and again, where I got to <laughs> so be? I'm just saying. It. Right. I think I'm ready. It's really? <laughs> Like Don't you, act like you can't find the people like to right. do it. Because it ain't nothing but a, uh, 
Yes, sir. It's, I do. It's just right away. It's just a, it's a, you can but watch you know, no, no, I'm just playing with it for real. You but could. I mean, cause I can watch a porno and watch it. It's but, different when you see it up yeah, close and personal. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's definitely different. Yeah. Just low it. Just low it. Just but don't ask so me, so goddamn me. I'm scary. I don't know. That's just, Why is that scary? I can't. I okay, so. Roller coasters uh, are scary. What is a few of your hobbies? I don't know. It threw you off. Get you a sip. Get you a sip real quick. Get you a sip. She didn't she didn't close the door now, guys. Get you a sip. Like a throat Is it me making you nervous? It's these questions. If the questions that then pile back up on you again. Throat closing. He said you should throat closing. They didn't give you the script before you got here, Like these gonna be the same questions. No, I mean, I tried thing once. You know, if I like it, I try it twice. Yay. Um, there you go. So. That's a good way to think of it. Yeah. I promise yeah. you it is. It's a good way to do it. it. Right. Anything one, mostly anything once. If I like it, I try it twice. Right. Well, I'm going to tell you like this. I will try everything at least once. Mm-hmm. Because you never know what you like until you do it. And when you like it, you go back and do it again. Or you be like, nah, I ain't doing this shit no more. Yeah. It, now drugs that's a different type of thing I ain't even tried all that shit that one. That's, mm. that's not gonna happen That's why you but can't try everything once th- th- That <laughs> part right there That's that's out the door You know So my bad for everything But mm. Yeah So what are your hobbies? Um Do you like grapes? What are my hobbies? Read Draw Cook <laughs> I'm I'm Skateboard Skate? You Walk skate? around the house, I new to, cooking. Man, you look like you skate. You look like you got skating Master hips. Bed. I can do that. Um, no, really, my hobbies are... I'm so simple. It's funny. I don't mm. even really know if I have a hobby, because I like doing everything. I know you travel. That's mm-hmm. a hobby. Well, that's... that's cause yeah, I have, oh, okay. Yeah. I love traveling yeah, then. Travel, yeah. yeah. I love food. So you're, so you're I'm a, a taste tester. Okay. Yeah, I love you're a, foodie. a foodie. You're a I'm foodie. Because yeah. I am. I'm a foodie. Yeah. yeah, I'm a foodie. I'm a traveler. I'm a. I love people. Yeah, like I love. I'm, I'm a, a people person. So I am a hobby. Yeah. I love watching people. Yeah. I'm a I people think people person. are so cool, so yes. amazing, funny. Like I could just sit by, and I do it a lot because I, I'm a loner too by nature. <laughs> So I watch people all the time, and I just be like, you see some stuff. I didn't see drug transactions go down. I didn't see people sliding phone numbers on the cool Stuff right. I don't want to see, but I just right. see it because I'm sitting there like. Just watching. Yeah, you not you observe a lot. Just, yeah, I pay attention to everything. Yeah, I but do That's so. because of the lifestyle that I live. I learned how to watch without watching, be in Read a place people. without being seen. Right. I know how to, I can blend real right. good. You know what I mean? And right. I won't be seen. I know how to talk up, but. For right. the most part, most people tell you I can come into a spot and blend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you have to be a chameleon in this world. That's mm-hmm. a, that's my thing because if you want to move forward to do anything that's out there that's tangible, you have to be an open minded person. Yeah, you have to be able to sit in any audience, any desk, any table, it's called, uh, and blend in. And you got to be like a chameleon. Mm-hmm. You have to know how to do be a multitasker. Yeah. You can't just be. A one-sided person. Oh, you no, gotta I'm know how to open. flip the coin. I have an yeah. open mind. Yeah. Yeah. They probably don't seem like, but I really, I'm an open. So open. that must have been sensory overload when you came to the party, because they put sex and people she watching went. together. No. Yeah, you don't pay attention. Yeah, that was sensory overload. Oh, yeah, I went. But it was interesting, no, though. No, but it wasn't was amazing. It? I had a ball. It was. I know so you fun. did. Yeah, it I was interesting. I had a ball. Because the first time I ever went was the first time I ever met, uh, uh, you know who I'm trying to say, and I hate the fact that his name is not in my head mm. that fucking quick. Who died? Big Al. Big, Big Al. Al. I couldn't yes. get, I couldn't couldn't get, get his it. name Albert, out of my Ray, head. Cornelius. Big Al. Albert. He was the first person I ever met when I went to a party, and he was the first person that made me comfortable. comfortable. Mm-hmm. You understand what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I instantly, like, first time it happened, I was like, nah, nah. But I liked his personality. Like, he drew me to him. Mm-hmm. And from that moment, Very funny. I was like, I love him. Like, he is just, he was just so, so adorable. He was just so lovable. He was always laughing and smiling. Smiling. He was just. I remember. Take like care of the girls. Yes, he took care of all the girls. Big Al mm. told me specifically, "Hey Mo, hey Mo, <laughs> I got a girl. That I'm real cool with. She's sexy as hell. You'll like her. Her name's Apple. I'm yeah, like, I'm like Apple. Apple bottom. She got a nice ass. 
I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. I met you and we've been cool ever since. Yes. Yeah. We've been we've been cool ever since that day. And the first time I went to like the first time I went to a party like that, I was at I was there with Big Al, but it was like it was like one of those little rinky dinky type of things, like way out in fucking ten buck two somewhere oh, that man. I went with one of my um partners who's also uh exotic dancer or whatever. And I went with him. So after that, he introduced me to you because mm. I was coming in to be the masseuse mm. because I was good at doing and massages. Ended up being a and ended up being a fucking bartender. But when I got there, that's when it was at Walton Gigi's mm-hmm. now. Shout out to Walton Gigi. Mm-hmm. But yeah. went out to the house and when I went in it was like like, my eyeballs could not stop. I think I instantly, like, in an hour, just started jumping in. Like, I'm here. Oh, no, like, what's going in. on? No. But, no. but I'm, I'm serious, Yeah, though. right. But but back to you, because I know we're going to... Yeah, we're going to go back. Yeah, you yeah. next. So... <laughs> yeah, you can have all so, them answers. Steve. Right. So, what are some of the favorite cities... Some of, what are some of your favorite cities you've visited? And after you give us the favorite cities, what are some places that you would like to go? Oh, Atlanta's always a favorite... Miami is cool. Um, I love Arizona. I love Texas always. Mm-hmm. That's you know. I still go back and feel like a tourist, even though I'm from there. Um, what else is good to me? L.A. L.A. is I stay there. Um, yeah, those are my main places. Now on my bucket list, I want to go to Dubai, mm-hmm. Belize. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I've never been to Cancun or Jamaica. Barbados. Juan Juan. Brethren. Cosmel. Yes. Like I'm that's my bucket list right now. So those are the trips that I'm getting ready to start not You would love mm-hmm. Jamaica. Yeah, you I've would never absolutely done that. love Jamaica. The boat ride. I always wanted to do a um cruise. A cruise, but mm-hmm. then the last boat ride didn't go so well. Mm. I'm they terrified. Had, uh, yeah, last I'm time terrified. they tricked us with chicken and <laughs> 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 yeah. She's stupid because <laughs> I didn't catch it until she said yeah, Kool Aid and chicken. I'm like, is she talking about slavery? Yes, <laughs> the last boat ride didn't go it. so well. Yeah. Right, so I'm I, terrified. I Me too. I I'm terrified boat. to get on them big boats and mm-hmm. go cruising. I can't. But it's on my bucket list. It's on bucket right. list. I'm planning on doing it. You will love Jamaica. Mm-hmm. I promise you, you will. You will become a regular Jamaican. Well, my daughter, one of my stepdaughters lives over in Mexico, so... That's, right up the street. Yeah, that's right up the street, so yeah. What are some of your uh, favorite foods? Mexican. Mm. I love enchiladas. Mexican food is like my top soul food. Um, Do you like see, gu- I'm a foodie, though. Do you so. like guacamole? I love guacamole. I just started liking guacamole. I love guacamole. Love I just started liking guacamole. Your mom's guacamole. Okay. It's, yeah, but it's got to be the right kind of quality. Quanti- the rest quanti- of them don't taste like what his mom's tastes like, so I hate guacamole. Well, if it's authentic from a Hispanic restaurant, yeah. I could eat it. Like, because, like, they in there for real. They mm. cushion it up. Like I said, rolling the dough. You see, like, the old school way. Right. Yeah, I eat it like that. But as far as, like, this Tex-Mex stuff. Nah, or Taco Bell. Like that. Yeah, Taco yeah. Bell. That's Tex-Mex. That's not real Mexican. So, food. real enchilada. I mean, the uh, the um, guacamole, is it supposed to be thick? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. Because all the shit I've been seeing been soupy. No, it's supposed to be thick. I'm, but I don't eat it. like a spray. I don't like it. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to say like somebody. That's what I was thinking. You. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah, it's supposed to be. A spray. I don't like it. I don't like I the way it tastes. Yeah, me good. too. Now I do. Mm-mm. I wouldn't eat it at first though. I just think like, ugh. It just reminded me of fucking diarrhea or some shit. <laughs> it's a baby poop. Yeah, that part, <laughs> yes. I fucking hate that yeah, shit. Yeah, now I like yeah. it. Well. Some of your favorite uh, hip hop groups and some of your favorite R and B groups or or individually make you group. Anybody in hip-hop, anybody in r You know, R&B, I'm R&B old school. Soul. Now, some of the younger people today, I really do like, um, but I'm old school. Like, my rap is always going to be Pac. It's always going to be um, even Biggie. Yes. Q, DMX. Um, and then some of the newer people today, like, I like the little Baby, the mm-hmm. Baby. Um, all the babies. All, all the, the babies. Little, yeah, all, yeah. <laughs> all the infants. You know, some of them, I like, couldn't pick them out of a lineup. The little Roddy Riches and all them yeah. little people. Yeah. So, yeah, I like them. The baby. And of course, um, R&B, because I'm an R&B chick. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because everything I do is slow and smooth. nice and slow. Mm-hmm. Um, Case, 
25 year friendship. So that's my best friend. So always my top. Touch me, tease me. Yes, that's <laughs> my dog for life. Um, rough pictures. ends, Chi. Chio, that's my other dog for life. Um, and Rough Ends got a new CD out. Y'all Do can they? check it out. Banging. Banging. Okay. I'm about to look mm. into that. Yes, banging. Matter of fact, I'll see you in Atlanta. Oh, but um, they don't show. Down there. I'm yeah. gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get with your ass when I go to Atlanta. Yeah, so they're gonna call. show down there. No, I'm talking about when I get ready to go down there in July. I'm calling your ass. Okay, yeah, I might be down there. Mm. So, but they're gonna show me your number before you leave. No. Okay, no. No. both of y'all got yeah. smartphones. Somebody better. <laughs> oh, we doing that? Oh, that shit's gonna happen. Okay. She's on live right no, now. No, no, no. You ain't gotta take no pictures, but record that shit. Okay, I'm not for sure. You definitely. I'm for sure. Indeed, I got you. I want the footage. Got you. Oh, but yeah, so R&B, that's my um, okay. genuine always. You know what I mean? Like, I'm an R&B chick. One yeah. Wells. Yes. Um, you can't never go. Joe to see. Joe to see. Oh, man. Yeah, damn, yeah. you can't never go wrong with Joe to see. Mm-hmm. He got, they got I too many hits. I was with hits. them the that's night it. that when Pac died. Oh, Are I you going serious? Back to LA with, with um, Casey and JoJo. Because we was all in Vegas. So you was there the in fight. Vegas mm-hmm. at the fight. With the fight, everything. Mm-hmm. Get the fuck out of town. Yeah. Now she want to make me take her picture. No, no. <laughs> Get your selfie popping off. Like, right. yeah, start my selfie. Now, so, but yeah, I'm an R&B girl. I love, I love, love, love R&B. Can't never go wrong with R&B. You know. Yeah, definitely. I cook too. Oh, you can still, you can still yeah. get the motherfucking issues off with some R and B, baby, from the eighties and the nineties, baby. Some, well, I guess young. How could you even have sex to like throw your mama down the stairs? Right, kick trouble, right. This, this, this. I mean, why? Okay. like I, I can't. That's because he's just doing his thing. At this right. point, he's just pounding you to death. Right, R and B gonna make you like okay. You know, yeah, you get to feel the pussy. Yeah, you get the You get the stroke it. Y'all all don't know that what type the difference shit. is while y'all talking. I'm gonna go ahead and answer that. Uh-huh. Uh, the difference is take your feelings out of it because you fuck around and fall in love with the dick when you listen to R and B and fucking. Be like, ooh, and you just fell in love with the moment. The ambiance. But see, R and B is for. I wanna, I wanna throw on some rap and fuck. No, see that, but that's what I'm saying. That's for. <laughs> but if I'm if really I'm in love with, with you, person. yeah, yeah, I'm I mean, in love yeah, with I you. I mean, I feel you on that. Turn on music on if I ain't in love. Right? Yeah, I that's stop. I, I keep the music but up after so you keep the music right after me. Right we yeah. grannies now. We don't even bother with the music. I'm old school, girl. I want to give a I'm fuck if the music school. was off or on. I'm old school. <laughs> I want to be bop and finger a bitch. So fuck. Oh, okay then. <laughs> oh, my oh my god, <laughs> nigga, you been not never <laughs> scratching and mixing. You been scratching you motherfuckers in front of their pussy, like fucking up they pussy lips right. and shit. I wish a nigga named and Mario and all on your face at the same time. <laughs> and I'm trying to beat and I'm turning that pussy up. Well, you know I'm coming out with a beatbox mixtape. And mix leaving tape. all spit on that chest at the same Look, time. Look, I'm coming out with a beatbox mixtape, girl. So <laughs> I bars. Can't. I fucking can't. Bars. You can bar- <laughs> I fucking can't. Bars. Yeah, oh I'm coming out with the beatbox mixtape. Right. Yeah. This is going to be go. all spitting on this motherfucking CD. They're going to ask what the CD cover yeah. is just all spit. Just spit. That's it. That's hey, it. And breathing. The name, right. of the, the name of the album is called Spitting Bars. Spitting bar- Bars. Bars. He thought Booyah, he Booyah. Drop the bomb. Down. Yeah. Mind blown. <laughs> Mind blown. Sure. We all been mind fucked. <laughs> mind fucked. Bars. Mind fucked. What's your favorite color? Black. Mm. <laughs> All right. No, I love wearing black, but I still like like the earth tone, like the golds and the beiges. But now I'm getting into the happy colors. Like I love. Yes. I don't wear them unless mm-hmm. it's like a dress or something. But the yellows and the oranges and the them happy colors. Yeah, you just yeah. got it on your fingernails. Got you just got to grow to the to the clothing. To my clothes, yeah. Yeah. I got too much. I feel like it attracts. When you wear certain colors and you it wear does. hippie and when we all already got stuff, booty yeah. and titties, any colors that we just, wear just, just enhances, enhances it. it twenty times more. Yes. Yeah, and um, you be like everybody be like, yeah. So with black, I can kind of still hide it enough and blend in and blend in just enough. But yeah, yeah so <laughs> all right. So now we pretty much got all the good innocent shit out the way. Um, now it's time to get raunchy, <laughs> nasty, now even, even horish. Okay, so. Texas homegrown. Yeah. Favorite, favorite position. You know, it's always a story. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, no. My favorite position actually is laying on my stomach with my legs closed, mm. with him behind me. Mm-hmm. With the soul the snatcher. Mm-hmm. With the little tooch the, sn- the soul oh, snatcher. Oh my god. That's my favorite. Because if snow. you open your legs, it's called gorilla style. 
But you know what though? That's the shit. Yes, it is. So snatcher. That is the because motherfucking mother- shit. A condom snatcher. Because you can dick a bitch down literally. Because you yes. can dick or that you down. can make him stay still, still and make sure he's super hard. Yep. And you can you can tighten your pussy yeah. muscles up. You use all the muscles. all your muscles. All the muscles. All right, young hoes, pay attention. Yeah. All, all your muscles. muscles. When I say that nigga be in love with your ass after that motherfucking Mm-mm. pumps like that, he be on your porch. You know what? He be on your motherfucking porch like bitch. I know you in there. <laughs> He looks through a you. water bottle. I see you <laughs> in that. I see you when you came outside using toilet. You. Look. But you know, it's so funny because bad. I lost my thought. Let's for the sake. Lord Jesus. I'm serious though. Man, yeah, that's a soul snatcher though. But you know, oh, this is what I was gonna say. You know how Time when men always say, This is my pet peeve too. Just so mm-hmm. before you know. When a man sit there and say, oh, no, I don't know if I can handle that. Too much. Uh, you don't got to handle it because I'm a grown woman. Right. So if you hit it, I know my arch is strong. Mm-hmm. My arch game is popping. St. Louis arch. Yeah, yeah. That that St. Part. Louis arch is popping. So you don't have to handle it because I'm a grown woman. I can woman. handle my I shit handle on myself, my own. And I'm going to help you get there. That so, part. Because yeah, I'm trying to get there. Yeah, that's- <laughs> <laughs> Give me some. Yeah, that- so that that irks me. That's like my one of yes. my pet peeves, though. Like, yes. there, I, 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 don't, I don't, you know, they having conversation amongst themselves. Like, right? Like, like you ain't sitting. Like there. you, don't, I'm not sitting here. You see, I'm like, sitting what the here. Fuck? It's the motherfucking. I, <laughs> do you know this girl? Every time she say certain words, it just do something to you. Yes, that pussy throbbing. <laughs> it's the accent, man. Go on and go on and work the Kegels while she talking. I, I, I don't need that. Like I'm doing Kegels right now. Okay, <laughs> I'm doing Kegels now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I love that we can do that. Right, <laughs> me too. I'm doing it. In the kitchen Just cooking, doing Kegels. Kegels. Right, doing Kegels while you're cooking. Vacuuming. Doing Kegels while you're fucking. You do Kegels all day. Mm-hmm. Make your muscles strong. I promise you. That's why the soul snatcher. That's mm. why that's my favorite. Uh, for me, that would be the child support. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's gonna be that's gonna be ro- Rotel and Muscatello. Oh because that's what we serving at the baby reveal. Right. <laughs> that's, the <laughs> that's the name right, of that. Yeah, that's the name of that. Right, that's something. You know who's pregnant after that. I yeah. promise you. And Several then they on top of you too, so they holding you down. So you yeah. can't move. And then you put that little arm right around the neck while you get it. Yeah. Oh, baby, I'm leaning back. Yeah, he are. Just give me right that's here. That, that's that yeah. good violence right yeah, there. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's that. the. That's the. Now mm-hmm. you can you can assault. That's the sexual assault, but it's a good one. Yeah, I'm that, but if he fine, me, it's not assault. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if he ugly, it's fuck, I'm getting. calling the police. Right. Yeah. I'm calling the police on you, motherfucker, because I didn't tell you to choke me like this. <laughs> nigga. That's rape. <laughs> that's rape, nigga. You just rape me. You are too. The gift that keeps on giving. That shout out to Will. Hey. I was just thinking about rape. That's all. Whoa. Go ahead. What Whoa. We talking about you, though. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. We talking about you, though. He going to get me for that. Whoa. He me. definitely is. Forgive me. Uh, <laughs> the face expression. Look, the face expressions <laughs> in this room, people, is fucking ridiculous. It's priceless. Hey, the face expression. Boss lady's friend is... is Stop! It ain't even that deep. Okay. Uh, I just said a friend. I ain't said that. You have a title to it? Nah, I ain't so, said so that. Don't so please don't. Uh, Cause his cheeks got rosy too. I know I'm gonna hold on to the car keys, so I ain't, so I ain't gotta walk home. <laughs> <laughs> hold the keys, girl. So I ain't gotta walk home. It's all, it's, all, it's all love for real. Uh, so the next thing is, yes, my face is give us some of some some of the most uncommon spots you've had sex at. Mm. Glad it ain't me. Go ahead. Oh, Lord. Boy, well, my time gonna be real fucked up. Mm. Oh, it's coming. Oh, trust me, I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got different kind of questions for you. I already know you do. Mm-hmm. I see them in your brain. They already <laughs> popping out through your scalp. <laughs> like little bubbles and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Try to hold it in. Try to hold it in. I did it at a Coliseum. Mm. Really? With a known... Like during yeah. a concert, well, no, there's still, a lot obviously. of people. <laughs> she can't say no name. Can't say no name. Y'all, 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 y'all. They renamed nameless. I She'll tell us off the earth. I was dating. They're in a Coliseum. Got to be an athlete of some sort. Damn. Was, no, it was, no, no, probably was a... It was a, it was a scene. One of the, a singer, Was it off rapper. in like a nook and cranny or were y'all sitting no, there like actually, he was on his lap? No, actually, the was set up See, it's a room. for us. Mm. It was in the Coliseum. Fire. Nice. Yeah, they had the, a bed in there and everything. Like it was, he had it romantically set up for us. That's dope. Yeah, that was probably most. Yeah. That was intense. Yeah. I could see your face. You went back from, in the memory. Whew, from the shower to the 
Yeah. Mm. And it was a dressing room. Her neck So it had, it had mirrors oh, in there. The vibes coming up off of that breast. Cool, there. Right? Yeah. I see heat waves coming up out that pussy. Her neck get moist. Pit. Right. Her, her, her cheeks got moist and so did her, her dress. Yeah. <laughs> her dress so got it. She kegling right now. I'm kegling right now. <laughs> Them kegels are setting it off right now. I'm she so, kegling like a mug in this mug. So right now. Like, oh my God. Yeah, so I was set up in the Coliseum. Mm, nice. That's oh, the only... Okay. Is there, some, is there somewhere or someplace you have yet to do it that you want to do it at? Texas Homegrown? Where do I want to do it? I want to do it in the arch. Mm, really? Go, going up or... On the elevator? you get... In. I, or I've never in. been in there. So whatever... Because it's a tram that goes up okay, like so this. Okay, so we can do it on the way up. The mile high. I want to well, do it's it going to be arc. several people in there. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Can we just book it by ourselves? No, no, it's not oh, no okay. book it type. Thing. Okay, so then that big Ferris wheel thing. Oh no! Yeah. Oh yeah! Now you can get it. You can get it on in there. I just gotta get a boyfriend or something to do it. Oh shit! You get it on in there. So I want to do it in there. Yeah, you can happen in there because they 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 do it so slow. Like you know, you go up and you be sitting there, stop the motherfucker. I'm like, let me find out the motherfucker working these motherfucker switches down here is a pervert. What do they got? They don't got cameras in there. I don't think they do. Oh, if they do, a lot of motherfuckers got a lot of stories to tell. Them motherfuckers. I'm gonna be one of them. That's all I'm saying. Somebody's child got to take me to the Ferris wheel. That part. Get you a gravy baby. Look, she said, get a gravy baby. Get you a gravy baby. Cause you're granny now. Get you a gravy baby. <laughs> Do anything for your cooking. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Like you're feed me. You can't be a sugar okay. baby. Somebody you can't be a take out the trash. <laughs> Beyond cool girl. You want me to rub your feet or run you some bath water? At, the same, At the same At damn the same time. At the same damn time. I want you to be. I'm going to have to break <laughs> my. Uh, when, I, when I'm ready to break my abstinence, then I will. Yeah, okay. I don't think I'm you all the way abstinence. She truly is. Cause I, I believe her to a degree, <laughs> but baby, I, I don't gross. see nothing. I don't see nothing shy in your ass at all in the room. I actually want to be there when you go ahead and give it up. Can I do that? Can you call? I me? mean, you know, just footage. You ain't gotta show your face. Can you call? Me? Um, no I'm face, no case. My choice. I I'm know you are. I ain't I'm saying too. you. Girl, you yeah. too damn cute for you to be absent. Not Scratch that, because <laughs> cute is cute is for little puppies and little babies. You too damn sexy. Oh, to be abstinent like, oh. by choice. Go you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I already it. know it's by your choice. But I'm yeah. just saying, when you do, Somebody's can you send a motherfucker I'm a tape? You, I feel it in my spirit. Like it's coming soon. Like, like tomorrow soon? Nah, because I got the right uh, person yet. I got to get the right days person. It's probably, it's probably no, going to be like June so. 12th. <laughs> 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 but, so... Is it coming? <laughs> it's coming real soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm about sooner to, than later. I'm about to crack it. June 12th Let is, it get cracked. But Saturday, um, June 12th is definitely. I mean, you know, uh, you didn't say no. So I didn't say. Hey, you never didn't say no. I can set it up for never. you. Never hey, say no. If I set it up for you, you will never regret it. Mm. I, I'm just, it doesn't have to be me. It doesn't have to be him. But I can set that up for you, you know. I'm I'm getting there. No face, I'm no case. I'm getting there. I think I have no worked face, out no all I need to work case. out. <laughs> no face, no case. See, I was so busy waiting on my him to find me. Don't do that. His GPS is off. Yeah. yeah. They, they ain't even got their motherfucker. They, they shit on airplane Well, I mode. dated a couple of people here and there, and I'm just so disappointed with people right now. So I'm just yeah. like, you know what, at this point, <laughs> you know. Just yeah. get your issue, yeah, bro. Just, yeah. yeah, I got a toy But I that. still got a rose. See? Yeah. I love my rose. I need to get one. Of I need to get one. I, need I to swear see what I love my rose. I went blind. I go blind time. often. I have this blind. little you go small blind without toy the rose that works for me. You say you go blind without the rose. Yeah, but that, with the rose, I'm definitely. You go, you go, you go blind for a minute. Look, that motherfucker be yeah. searching. This rose. She searched for the bed and no, she landed. I'm, I'm here, wonder. like, oh gosh, no. Yeah, please, somebody call. My <laughs> I'm begging for somebody to call me because it's like at this point, if I nut one more time, <laughs> please. Oh my god! I will kill myself. I will be blind forever. <laughs> I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> But Lord Jesus, I'm just saying, oh my I'm just God, saying, touch hey, it, Lord. Just, just hey, I'm just saying, put your hands on it, Jesus. Right. Yeah, charge it up real good so it's on that, and you put it on that third. The intense. You put it on the third. So it's got three levels. No, it's got it. 
by 10 levels. I got to get this rose. Yeah. I put it on the third one, the intense one, when you just want to try to. So I then, can imagine if you put it on 10, you going to go blind. Well, because then you got the pulsating, you got mm. the throbbing, you got the, it's a lot of things to it. I The one and two is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> But three, <laughs> you don't say. That's, you do, you do two. The first, just you know. Right. So three is because like now you got to work a little bit harder for it. But you ain't got to work harder for it. You got to chase this <laughs> motherfucker. Chasing you gotta, that yeah, nut. Yeah. <laughs> so when you hit three on there, you just like, okay, okay, yeah, like crack. Okay, okay, okay stop, okay. stop. Okay. Like you the one that's giving yeah, it to you yourself. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> First two was free. Right. right. You got to pay for like this. third one right here, you got to pay for this. You got to have to catch me. This is legendary right here, y'all. Now oh, I'm going to go outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pull them eye muscles tight. And just... Oh, my God. Now it's time for the humble brag section where we simply ask you a simple question and it's up to you to brag about how good it is. Your head game. How good is your it's head game? My head game is far. I have just so come to the conclusion. Um, I guess the job done. Mm. I realize that now. At oh first, my. I was really not giving myself the credit that I deserve. Right, right. But part, part, pardon me, y'all. Um, with all due respect, bitch, my dick just got a hole. <laughs> God damn, right. No! You know this motherfucker. Shit. That he was waiting on that. Yeah. He probably made sure he put that as the last yeah. question. You know yeah. this motherfucker. That, 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 that's the last up. question, though. My I'm talking about. I thought you was happy. gonna put that at the last. Yes. Shit. That motherfucker lost. Happy. He just went blind. He went blind. He's he blind. went blind five minutes. He's, He's blind. blind. Put your glasses back on. <laughs> Fill around. They probably fall the fuck up. Look, they already fall up. You need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> you need to make a trip to the bathroom. Oh, like you, the boys. you need to make a trip to the bathroom. No. You need to potty. No. You have to like, go, mama. You get an issue off. Uh, okay. How good is that pussy? Far. Because it's marinated. She do her kegels. Mm. Yeah. Yes. She kegling now. Right? Right what you going right to have? She ain't no, had this pussy tapped in a minute. Is, so you know her shit. Her like, pocket. She, she kegling. She, 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 she got turkey and Swiss in that motherfucker. Right. Like a hot pocket. That's one thing about it. When God bless you. Melted Swiss. When he bless you with a lot of. When he got bless you with midgets. Okay. Them two little people back there. Right. That was a warmer. So God said, Renee, you know, you might not have this, this, and that. But what I'm going to give you is a warmer. So with the little Food pa in the little behind back there. It's an oven. Keeps it warm. Marination. That motherfucker marinated. Marination. And then, and then you know your have name a lot of Madam Lawrence. Yeah, so it don't have a lot season. of seasons. Yeah. It's got it's a lot season. of miles wow. on it. Yeah, it's so I've been with, I always been with one person or was right. relationship. So I right. always been so. It's, it was conformed to that person yeah, or this course, person. So hmm. that pussy yeah. is tight. And so that's fifty two. Um, your Ready. sex style. Would be what? Buck wild, Buck wild, calm and cool, nice and easy. Depends. Smooth and slow. I'm an R&B chick. Mm-hmm. I do like the, because I'm a romantical nice type person. Right. I do like, nice you know, the slow. sensual, the foreplay is, is with, if, let me tell you something. If you can't go down on me and if you can't kiss me, you shouldn't be sleeping with me. That part. Bars. Because I don't even want to do it. It's a waste of my time yeah. and yours. Right. I just feel like I'm getting cheated. And right. you're going to feel like you cheated. So Cause I ain't doing you because you ain't doing me. you ain't me. doing me. So Flat the fuck if we out. Ain't, if we not to that level where we feel comfortable enough to be able to kiss and kiss, then we shouldn't be together. Period. So I don't do it. But, yeah, I, um, yeah, I'm an R&B chick. Okay. Every now and then you get your little, this heel. Your ground and pound is okay sometimes. Yeah, I don't like that though. Okay. It's, right. it's every now and then, but it yeah. don't. Yeah, yeah, I don't like all that pounding. What yeah. you fighting for? Like, we ain't got to <laughs> fight. Make, <laughs> make love no more. Yeah, you know, we ain't got to fight. Right. Yeah. But if we just mad that day or something, you feel like you need to just try to get it off, all right. You know, I'll let you do that. But for the most part, yeah, I'm a sensual type person. Mm-hmm. Mom's like, do you have any questions for Texas Homegrown? Oh, damn. I was, I'm sorry. I was caught <laughs> up in the moment. <laughs> I was, was in my head like, I'm pussy, pussy marinating too. Yeah. 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 You know, you know, yeah. Marinating over here. I brought it with me, so I guess so. <laughs> Uh, uh, you brought it with you? I brought it with me. I brought it with me. like it, it's with me, so I, I guess it's buried. I totally leave it in the car. I could put it in the drawer. No, know. mine is in the safe. <laughs> I put mine in the safe. I just tell my kids, stay out of my top yeah. drawer. But my yeah. crouch is in my safe right now. See how that works? Yeah. Hmm. It's locked up. Oh, Indeed. I was playing. Um, <laughs> you, question. What was I finna ask you? I lost my thought. Uh, da, 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 you know what my fantasy is? I just thought about it. Yeah, okay. Holding a man's penis while he peeing. That's what you said. 
That's what you said. Because I was like, it was. I'm cool on that, but you want to do that. Oh, yeah, I really okay. do. Like, just, I can set that up for you. Yeah. I don't, I don't. I, I don't, mean, I used to do my, my ex-husband stay stressed I don't, out. Because I, don't. I would run to the bathroom behind his man. He couldn't go pee by himself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ex-husband. But yeah. I used to run. <laughs> that's my dog, though. That's, like I said before, that's really? my best friend. Gotta that's be. One of my dogs. He letting you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that's my, you know, we ain't married. Right. And for whatever reason, but it never stopped the friendship. You know what I mean? And that's what's, always, it, that's what's yeah, important. Yeah, we're always going to be friends. That's what's important. I could call him today and be like. And he going to stop with he doing gonna, what he's he doing to do And same thing. Right. Though. And yeah, same that's thing. That's my dog yeah. for life. That's how it's supposed to be. But that man couldn't pee without me. He used to be a Renee. Can I go to the restroom by myself, please? Mm. You sure? <laughs> you, you need to be on that, my, my strange addiction. <laughs> Why right. the hell is you? <laughs> I, just, I just tell him about soon as he, you. She probably be, as soon as he wake up in the morning, she like. Come that on. is so funny. Come on, don't you gotta pee? Come on, come on. Yeah. He's like, go. Renee, go on and lay down there. What's wrong with you? I'd be like, but you know, it's just, it's something about because you can feel it through coming through the vein. It's something about that vein. I don't know. So you might as well just go ahead and hold the motherfucker right before he nut. It's going to be the same look. No, nah, it's something about the No, nah, it might be a yeah. different type of. Yeah. It's a di- well, I ain't never did either or the other, up so I don't know. It's a different feeling, a different flow. Yeah, that's one a different One is a flow. jerking motion, yeah. another one's fluid. Just fluid, flow. yeah. Well, well, I, I don't think it's know. I, don't, I, I, never, know I, I ain't have never did either or the other. Well, I have, but I, I, I just know that I don't have one. And I, I'll be you like, never I feel hold this dick. You always hold my dick in your mouth. I feel like you I should have one. Please. I can't stand up and pee. Please. So. <laughs> Deception. If Lies. you hold my dick in your hand, you can. You always hold it in your mouth. So well, you, when you be asleep, you'd be surprised. That's why you be having bruises and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I be like, you got a bruise on your back. She be beating my ass when I'm asleep. Oh, man. I used to get my ex-husband good. Yep, yep. I used to hold his nose. See what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, Oh my god. I'm gonna go ahead and say this. Uh I would I would like thump the, the tip of his penis just to watch his ball shrink. <laughs> He'd be knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Playing. If y'all can see his face expression, it is It's so dick. funny. His balls so be protecting my him. Balls, <laughs> they will my, shrink up if it's my cold. My shit, when I'm cold, my shit, you, you <laughs> see it shrink up and look, look like a coin purse. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, it's 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 funny. <laughs> we gonna get him. They not gonna get God. Yeah. They they oh they protecting themselves. Like he hey, got this dick does amazing things. I'm just saying. <laughs> so crazy so to me. It's, it's, it's oh big, my god! I'm a big kid though, so that's y'all okay. gotta know. This man loves talking about his dick. But you know I like doing more. And he's an asthmatic. I love fucking bitches with this big old, big <laughs> old schlong. Asbestos. Yeah, asbestos. Oh, that's a new one. Now, we ain't had that one yet. Did you hear that, Mo? Asbestos. Put that on the list. Asbestos. 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 Look, he even had to sit up and laugh at that shit. <laughs> God. Asparagus. Oh, <laughs> that's, 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 Asparagus. The that's Justin Engineer. That y'all. That's is a good one yeah. right there. Yes, just, right on, Justin. That's right on, it. Just. Good that's job, right. Justin. Okay, so DJ we got Arby's. about another eight minutes. So, Apple, you got another question for Texas Homegrown, a.k.a. Madam Lawrence. Look, she over here blushing. She like, this motherfucker be saying the weirdest Ooh, shit. I just came up with one. Go ahead. Hurry okay. up. Okay. So, so this is my thing. Mm-hmm. Now, you said you had your fantasies as far as sleeping or doing something sexual that you have not done yet. Mm-hmm. So you telling me that you ain't fucked in the elevator yet? Mm-mm. So you really didn't say what weird shit you did. Because you ain't named nothing. Mm-hmm. She said fucked in the Coliseum. The Coliseum was just, it was just them two. I'm talking about some weird shit like fuck in, in hell. Well, not hell, hell, like downstairs <laughs> hell. But I'm talking about like it's raining and helling outside. You're fucking in the car or fucked in the, in, in the, in the park up against a tree or in an alley port on the ground. None of them strange ass places. Mm-mm. But your ass got Polaroids but with you, stars. I want the footage. But I didn't sleep with a lot of the stars, though. No, I didn't say you uh, slept with a no, lot no, of the stars. I'm, I'm just yeah. talking about some freaky, deaky, uh, nasty ass yeah. shit. Yeah. Nothing. And for some reason, I, everybody would romance me. So I was always right. in romantic places. Like, I remember I was dating this basketball player and we was in Look Seattle. And it was that, that, 
no, he's played with Seattle, the, but we've the been Space Needle? That thing that goes in, um, in Seattle? The hotel. Yeah, no, no, it's something? in New York. It's okay. a hotel that I know what you're talking about. The windows. Yeah, Everything, it rotates. The, uh, the rooftop. Uh, it <laughs> rotates. I forgot the name of it, but I know which one she's talking about, yeah. though. It rotates. So I always had, like, like, romantical places like that. You know oh. what? That's some fucked up. It's just <laughs> your thoughts. Fuck <laughs> theirs. I'm talking about what you wanted to do that was some nasty, gutter gut rich and shit that nobody would have thought that Texas well, homegrown would do. She didn't do it, but she's on her way to do it. She did say she would try anything. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah. So that's, yeah. Uh, that's all. I ain't really got no question. I Ooh. just wanted to ask. Go ahead. Pick me. Go ahead, Pick me. Buff lady. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Would you ever consider fucking somebody in front of an audience? When I say audience, I mean like three or four people. And Maybe as long two. as you can't see them and they can see you, I'm giving you I'm giving you an out. Oh. I'm giving you an out. That would be dope. That, that would, would be, be kind of dope. Because earlier yeah. you said you wanted to see it. Now, that would, would be a be fantasy. That Because I am very shy. So uh, once I open up, I'm open up. I'm good. But that would definitely be a fantasy. So, I love like, the, they was behind the glass back so, there. I love the oh, how about like, if the room was pitch black? You can hear people in there, but you couldn't see people in there. Yeah, I do that. But you way. always, but you would already know there's, What's there's going at least on. two or three people in there. But they they can't touch you, but they can watch. That would be cool. What? I would try that. Nice. Yeah, I would. I would. So, do that. so you can sit back and get all the head you want while they're watching, and they can't touch you. They can't nice. touch me. No. I love that, that would be that would be that hot. would be dope. That for would you. be amazing. That would be that would open up a lot of doors for me. Mm-hmm. Really. My inhibitions, a lot of stuff. So, that I so, have. so I guess this would be the next question. So, when will you be uh, ready? Is it gonna be June twelfth, or <laughs> is it gonna be before June? See, that's the thing about <laughs> it. I'm never. If if it happens, it's gonna happen. It's just gonna happen. I know it's, it's gonna, gonna happen. happen. Yeah, because nothing thing. is worse than planning. Yeah, I, I some would fucking. never. That's like, like that's, that's why I never like, like, people. No, I can't plan no yeah, fucking. I don't want to plan. I can't plan. I can't. I'm, I'm gonna meet you. I'm being But I know you. Unless you, it's something involved, like some. Money, maybe we talk. That's a different type of transaction. That's a different type of thing. You know what I'm saying? That's a different type of shit. No, no. But I'm saying, if you like, even when I was married, like I, I never understood people who. We babe, gotta meet me Tuesday. at Tuesday at six thirty, and we're gonna. And I'll be like, like what? Like, nah. You're spontaneous with me. Them, like, yes. you that's them niggas. Who got, that's, that's some niggas well. who got women, and they got they got to fuck you at a certain time. I don't give yeah. a fuck about none of that. If I, if you ask me. Uh, can we meet uh tomorrow? I'm gonna get the hotel room. You meet me down there at three o'clock. Mm. Uh, no. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm probably not gonna make it. And if you I know? do make it, I'm definitely not in the mood to fuck. I'm not coming for that. No, uh, yeah, exactly. I'm, not for that. I'm like, I just show up because I don't want to feel like you yeah. wasted your room. But basically, I'm not fucking you because I'm yeah. not. I'm out of the mood. Oh, Apple, I'd beat your ass. Uh, I'm out of the mood. Yeah. I'm just being honest. <laughs> we just, oh, we just have to kick it. You want to? We gonna have to kick it and go food. somewhere else. Yeah, but would you have to do something else? Knowingly. I, I've done this. Have would you knowingly put yourself in a position to even get there? Like you know, your everyday life. You know, you don't drink. You're not doing drugs or whatever. Your everyday life does not put you in a situation where there are people fucking in this room, and I'm gonna watch these people fuck. Your everyday life don't do that. Mm-hmm. Would you go to a party? In your head, you go to the party like, I ain't going to do nothing, but I'm going to watch. Okay, if some shit happened, then I might get in. Well, my everyday life did put me there. <laughs> I'm saying time. now. We're talking oh, now. Oh, okay, now. With your oh. abstinence and oh, your yeah, sober. Oh, yeah, 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 right. um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If I was, if that point of saying I'm ready, like, I would put myself in that You would mentally yeah. prepare yeah, yourself pre- for that. prepare myself yeah. for it. Yeah. And that's, that's you know, go, go yeah. against what y'all was talking I would about, take the, planning. So right now, I, mean, I got my mind planning out of it. I don't, it's more or less like, you know how people always say, well, we got a time frame, or yeah, we gonna. Oh, uh, I get I'm in finna, trouble for that all I'm the time. I'm finna come home, and we finna. I don't, I don't like, I like the fact that I can just pull up to your job, be like, you on your break yet? Mm. Be like, yeah, okay, I'm outside, and right. you come outside, you get in the car, and we just get the shout out, know, out to the yeah. makeup, going at it. Shout out to or you know, some random stuff. I don't really, I can't really get with the planning thing, mm. yeah, because like at this point, I feel like okay, I gotta. Hurry up and get myself together to prepare for what I'm about to do. That's the part I don't like. Mm. You know mm. what I'm saying? If I got to prepare to get to it, I feel like I shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. It's kind well, of like getting ready for work. If yeah. it's good shit. enough, I'm, I'm, me personally, being a mom, uh, seven kids, seven, eight of them, I lost count. Uh, <laughs> but we raised seven. about seven of them. Mm-hmm. And uh, 
yeah, my life was scheduled. I had to go to work at a certain time, be mom at a certain time, be wife at a certain time. If I tell your ass, get over here between one thirty and 2.45. Yeah, that's different. Then that's, see, that's the only different. way I can get it in. Yeah, yeah. but that's different, right. though. Well, I mean, you know, you're, you're, you're later in life now. You're scheduling to make it happen. So you don't but, have to do that. Yeah, but, but if we're in a whole situation. And, like, we're in a relationship, yeah, and you'd be like, like okay, we're going to fuck on Tuesday at 3 o'clock. Yeah. And we have all the opportunities to do it every time. I'm so bad with that, though. Yeah. you know, after I know, I'll be like, my husband's going to be here. 15 minutes gotta go line just right. so he can mm-hmm. go on and go but yeah I'm so bad with that like I will be trying to schedule I'm shit I used to text my daughter that. like call me in a few minutes yeah <laughs> oh I used to do my sons like that just, I'm gonna put out. you on speaker but get out. Yeah. I want it to be the worst thing you've ever been Especially going if through if you really liked somebody <laughs> like I really liked you and I was really oh. hoping you was the one and then you and then give then you me some whack ass just, head so or some whack ass dick or you done waited up, like now I done waited all this time I even got and then get the wrong one together he ain't even putting it down Right. Mm-hmm. I didn't wait it. <laughs> All right, y'all. It is now time to say au revoir, goodbye. Catch y'all au next week. Uh, this has been a very in- entertaining and very informative podcast. <laughs> I, mean, I truly got to say from the bottom of my heart to the tip of my dick, this is really cool. <laughs> really cool. Yeah. So uh, we will, what Facebook. we're going to do is we're going to let everyone go and watch the podcast on YouTube. That's Yay. the Freaks of the Industry podcast on YouTube. Check it out. Check us out on Anchor. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, anywhere podcasts are being listened to. Um, in the meanwhile, between time, everyone always remember in parting, um, in life, you can always, you can deny the lie, but you can never deny the truth. So always hey. live your truth. And he said what he said. <laughs> in that order. I want to say Peace. a model one. Peace. <laughs> Look, she got a little powder on it. I want to say a model one day. I got a